baby, I'm a rise to the top. I'm a baller, baby, I ain't never gonna stop. I'm a baller, baby, I'ma have to show you how to run this ball I'm just saying. Hello and welcome to Retro Breathe. Here's a fun fact about me. I am actually incapable of using a normal computer mouse due to some complications with my wrist. A couple of years ago, I switched permanently to using a trackball and I've never looked back since. Trackballs are super ergonomic, they're much more healthy for you than regular mice, and I really recommend giving one a try if you haven't already, it's a really fun experience. Over the years, I've looked for the perfect trackball, starting with modern solutions like the Elecom line, as well as vintage ones like the Trackman Marble and the Microsoft Trackball Explorer. However, even though I was using the Trackball Explorer for a really long time, the plastic in those tends to become brittle since they're so old, and the buttons unfortunately snapped off, rendering it unusable. So I've been on the lookout for a new trackball, and I heard about the Game Ball a long time ago and I was wondering what the progress on that project was like. The Game Ball is a fairly new product, which has been designed from the ground up to be great for gaming as well as general computer use. It was designed by Blue Sun Innovations in the USA, but it's actually manufactured right here in Great Britain. I was really interested in the Game Ball, so I reached out to the company and asked them if they would send me a unit to review, and I was really happy when they agreed. So I want to say a huge thank you to Eric from Game Ball who sent me the mouse to try out. It was really kind of them to do so, and I'm especially happy because, in all honesty, the Game Ball has become my favourite mouse ever. Before I carry on though, I want to say that while they did send me this unit to review, no money was exchanged and they're not seeing the video before I upload it. All the views and opinions in this video are mine. But they are all good. Now, I was really trying to find something I really disliked about the Game Ball and there really isn't much. So anyway, the first and most immediate thing that you notice when you open the Game Ball is its quality. It is amazingly good quality, with a very smooth textured top, sharp, well-manufactured elements, and of course this glistening trackball hanging over the top like some kind of moon. You can tell that the team put a huge amount of work into the quality and craftsmanship of this mouse. The Game Ball has an ambidextrous, symmetrical design, which means you can use it with your right or left hand, whichever you prefer. This is really great for me because sometimes my right wrist becomes fatigued and achy, so I just switch over to the other side. Most trackballs are right-handed only, and, well, basically none of them are left-handed only, so it feels really nice to be able to switch back and forth. Regardless of which hand I'm using, mostly the right, it feels really comfortable resting on the soft, smooth surface. But I will say that it's not really fabric-y, and it's not really rubbery, it's just really smooth. It's not that kind of material that makes your hand real sweaty, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. All I know is that it's very soft, very smooth, and very comfortable. The Game Ball is all elegant lines. The design is just really nice, and it looks both stylish, sleek, and elegant all at once. But it's also not super garish like a lot of gaming peripherals are. The most important part of the trackball is, of course, the ball. And I have to say that they knocked it out of the park with this one. This is easily the smoothest trackball I've ever used. Somehow they made it feel like there is absolutely no friction at all when you roll the ball. It honestly feels like it's floating on air or on water or something. It's really amazing. I really thought nothing could beat my Trackball Explorer in terms of smoothness of the ball, but here it's just amazing. It's so much better. Now here's the thing with a trackball. You need to be able to make very small, precise movements, and you need to be able to do so with as little friction as possible. Right before this, I was using an Elecom Huge, and whereas that's an okay trackball, one of the issues with it is it requires just a little bit of force to get the ball rolling. And that little bit of force adds up throughout the day when you're using it all day, and it can cause your fingers to get tired. The game ball, on the other hand, it just floats. You don't need to apply any pressure or any force at all to roll the ball. It's really amazing. The design team did an incredible job making this ball as smooth as possible, and you really notice it when you're using it, especially for a long time. The ball is actually a lot smaller than I'm used to. Both the Trackball Explorer and the Elecom are much bigger in comparison, and I thought that would be something that I disliked about the Game Ball, but over time I've really gotten used to it. I think a big part of this is that so much of the ball is exposed, over half of it in fact, and that just means that you have a lot of control over where you touch the ball, where you push it from, and all of that. Another very unique feature of the Game Ball is its sensor, which works all the way from 400 CPI all the way up to 3000. This is really unique because most trackballs, even the modern ones from the likes of Elecom, have continued to use outdated sensors for years, which means that they're not as responsive, they're not as fast, and you just can't do as much with them. But with the Game Ball, you really have all the sensitivity you need with its 3000 CPI. In fact, you can dial it up to the max and then lower it in software 
to completely pinpoint exactly where you need the sensitivity to be. When it comes to the buttons on the mouse, they're all nice and solid as you would expect, made from a pretty thick hard plastic. They're very clicky, but a little bit more so than a regular mouse I would say, at least any that I can remember. They work really nice, they're very tactile, and the shape of them is great too. I will admit it did take me a little while to get used to the position of all the buttons, but with my index and middle finger on the ball, my thumb on the left click and my ring finger on the other side on the right click, it ended up being really intuitive and really comfortable. The other unique feature is the touch sensitive scroll wheels. There's one on the left and the right hand side of the ball. The left side works for horizontal scrolling, that's left and right, and the right side works for vertical scrolling up and down. Again, I wasn't sure at first if I would like this compared to like a tactile scroll wheel, but now I'm really not sure I could live without this feature. It's so smooth and addictive to scroll up and down just by swiping my finger. I can easily control the speed of scrolling and it's just super nice and super smooth. The horizontal scroll feature has absolutely improved my productivity, especially when it comes to video editing where I have a long horizontal timeline. This is something that has genuinely improved my workflow and I love tools that will do that for me, especially when it's unexpected like this. I've always been used to moving my cursor down to the bottom, clicking and dragging on the horizontal scroll bar, but now I don't need to anymore. I just swipe my finger up and down on the left hand touchpad and it scrolls for me. It's just an excellent feature. I really, really love it. Of course, this is a gaming peripheral, so it does have RGB lighting, but I'm really glad that it's not too garish. I'm not necessarily an RGB kind of guy, but I do like the highlight that the color makes. You just tap on another capacitive button here and it will change the color and then one of them scrolls through the various colors available. I like to leave it on this purple one, it's really really nice. The Game Ball has even received a few firmware updates in its lifetime so far and it's highly customizable. You can do everything from changing the button layout, the scrolling behavior, all the way to the polling rate itself. And all of this is done through internal firmware and not external software which means that you don't need to download and install anything to get the most out of all of the Game Ball's features. And also it means that if you unplug the Game Ball and plug it into a different computer, all of your settings are still there, just as you left them before. This again is an amazing feature, and I'm somebody who flips between a work computer and my home PC, and now the Steam Deck, pretty often, and I love being able to plug in my mouse and it works the same across all of those devices, with no extra configuration needed. All that said, if you do still want to use remapping software, the Game Ball works just as well as any other mouse and you'll have no other problems with it. My absolute favorite feature of the Game Ball is precision mode. With one touch of the right middle button, if you're using it on the right hand side, the cursor speed is slowed down pretty significantly, which allows you to make fine tuned movements. This is absolutely amazing for aiming that precise shot or for using delicate drag and drop operations. For computer assisted design, which is what I mostly use my home PC for, the Game Ball is just such a great experience. I can move the cursor quickly to select what I need and then I can activate precision mode to, for example, draw a rectangle very accurately. Of course, this trackball is called the Game Ball. It's gaming trackball. And in games, the Game Ball is an absolute star. I've been playing Skyrim lately and I use a really rare class called the Stealth Archer, and the Game Ball basically turned me into a lightning sniper in this game. I'm able to pick off multiple enemies with just a nudge of my fingers. For distant enemies, I can click on precision mode, and I can get all the accuracy I need, and that's quite a lot because I'm a terrible shot, honestly. For fast-paced first-person shooters, which admittedly I don't play a lot of, the Game Ball is also really great. You can flick the ball with no friction, just a little way, and because of the high sensitivity, your character can make a 180 spin or aim directly up and down in an instant. I'm not the most experienced mouse and keyboard gamer there is, but even I can tell that the Game Ball has all of the customization and sensitivity that you need for whatever game you might be playing. Eric has made a really amazing starter guide for the Game Ball, which will address pretty much all common questions and also all the configuration options available. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Overall, I can genuinely say that the Game Ball has improved my computer use both in games and in productivity. The ball smoothness, the incredibly addictive touch wheels, and just the supreme comfort of it make the Game Ball honestly my favorite input device I've ever had on a PC. Honestly, after getting a review unit, I really was aware that I wanted to make sure my review was as unbiased as possible. But the reality is, is that for me, somebody who's used trackballs for probably four or five years now, the Game Ball is by far the best one I've ever used. And I really can't find anything I don't like about it. It is seriously an incredible input device, and I highly recommend it for anybody looking for a new type of mouse or a new trackball, of course. 
I'm going to leave a link to the Game Ball website in the description, so please go ahead and check it out if you're interested. This isn't an affiliate link or anything, so I don't get anything if you do go ahead and purchase it. I will also say that Game Ball is currently working on a new Game Ball, the Game Ball Pro. The Game Ball Pro is going to be specifically made for the right hand, so it won't make the original obsolete either. I actually use left-handed mode on the Game Ball a lot more than I thought I would. It's just really lovely having that option. However, all that said, I would definitely be picking up the Game Ball Pro as soon as it's available. This company has proven, even with their first product, that they can make an absolutely killer input device. So that's about it for this video. Do you use a trackball? Are you looking for a new one? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about the Game Ball or you're more interested in it and you want to see more about it, let me know and I'll think about doing some more content for it as well. One more time, I want to say a huge thank you to the Game Ball team for making such an excellent input device that has genuinely improved my computer workflows. And of course to Eric for sending me this review unit. And of course, thank you to you for watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe if you like my content. And this has been Shem from RetroBreeze, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.